Hey guys, today in this tutorial, I will show you how you can add suite alert in your project. So guys, for that, first of all, you have to install a package. And uh, here just, I will open a tab. And here I will find a NPM suite alert. So I mostly use this suite alert to NPM. So here you can install this suite alert NPM also. But I use this suite alert to NPM. So in this tutorial I will show you this one. And I will provide the link in description also. So just open it. And here the command to install NPM my suite alert to. And in my code editor just open a new terminal here. And now I will install that one so and it will take uh, some time to install so this time I will use the next one so here you can see just you have to be uh, import this line where you want to add suite alert so I will copy this suite alert line this import line and I want to add the suite alert in our main component like app component dot html so in the ts file just here I will import this suite alert so it's showing error because the package is not downloaded yet so that's why it's showing error and um, after that just you have to do nothing just you have to add this code in your ts file so before that i will create a button in html file because when i will click the button then the suite alert be open so for that here yeah, i will add a normal button so button type is button and I will add a bootstrap class that is button and now here the button name is suite alert ok so here the button is created so here I will light a click method so click and the method name is open suite alert so now I will copy this method and in the ts file and here the suite alert download is completed so here the error is removed from here so now just here I will write the method and inside this method just I will paste this code so I will copy from here and just paste it and I will remove the comment so let's I will show you what will be happen so again say so here is the button so when I will click so here you can see the swivel alert is coming so here you can change I mean you can modify as per your choice so just if you want to change this warning icon so here you can add success so it will be shown here the success icon so in this way you can modify so here you can see this is the success icon is showing now so in the same way you can write error so now the error icon will be shown in this in your suite alert so if I click so here you can see it's the error icon and the same way you can change your message from here so here you can see are you sure and here you can change the message also and the button name uh, here yes deleted and no keep it so this is the button delete it and no keep it this is the button so you can change this button name also from here and let's here if I suppose if I click this yes deleted button so here you can see it's showing again uh, another suite alert that is deleted ok so if you want to don't show this suite alert so just from here you can remove this code so now if I check so now if I click this delete button so here you can see it's not showing this the another suite alert because I removed this from here 
and the same way so and the same way if I click the no keep it so here you can see it's showing another suite alert so that's for here so if you uh, remove this alert from here so it will not be shown again so let's check it so I'll save that and open a browser so if I click now so you can see it's not showing that and guys now here I will show suppose you want to add some add some EO condition like when you, you will click yes delete it so you want to delete something or you want to add uh, some condition so like here when I will click this uh, yes button so I want to go uh, another route so that's why I want to write some condition so here the I will change the message so like I will write here go to home or here the no keep it this message so when I will click uh, this go to home button so it will be go the defined out so for that just here I have to be add the route so here I will import router because you know guys how to uh, redirect another URL so import router from uh, at the rate angular router and now copy this and in the in constructor just here I have to add a variable and type that is router so private and the variable is router and I will add a type that is router and comma this router means this one so now I can navigate my uh, uh, page into an another router so here I will write this dot route this router that means which variable I have created here so router dot navigate so here is the navigate and uh, square bracket sorry parenthesis square bracket and I want to navigate in our home route so just here to be at semicolon so save and now if I check here so here you can see go to home so you can see now I am in home component so let's change the icon also so uh, here I will write us su uh, success the success icon and I will change the message also are you sure and here do you change the route or here I will like you I will like define message you will go different route so now it will be perfect and first I will go to my app component you can see here only local host 4000 and now when I will click this button so here you can see it's the message are you sure you will go defined out so that means if I click go to home so it, here you can you, you can see that the URL will be changed and if I click no keep it so here you can see it's not going to the defined out but if I click go to home so here you can see it's the home component URL is come and here is the home component so this way you can use and modify your suite alert so hope guys this video is helpful to you and if you want to get more videos in angular javascript so press the notification bell icon and also also a subscribe button